Good day, my viewers, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marjorie Tuluani, and I'm here to brief you on a topic in financial accounting known as accounting ethics. Last, last time before when I came, I told you the meaning of accounting, the meaning of bookkeeping, users of accounting information, and a host of others. Today, I'm going to be treating you on a topic known as accounting ethics. Firstly, I would like to talk about ethics. In every business organization, there's a set of rules and principles that is guiding that organization. In accounting, it's known as accounting ethics. Accounting ethics can be defined as a set of brief and distinct guidelines made for a business to maintain a clean balance sheet to prevent it from mishandling financial records, accounting for income, expenditure, and a host of others. I'm now, I'm going to define a term known as creative or cosmetic accounting. This can be defined as a situation whereby companies inflate their accounting scores so that, it can, so that in the case of losses, the company can be showing that they are making profits. Now, there are four major accounting ethics which are briefly and distinctly aligned because they are the most important. They are honesty, integrity, transparency, and professional behavior. Firstly, honesty. In a country like Nigeria today, accountants and anyone working in the financial industry are known to be liars and people that steal the money. This is because of lack of honesty. Honesty can be defined as the quality of being truthful and straightforward. If you want to succeed in your accounting profession, you must be a person that has honesty. Secondly, we have integrity. The act of abiding by honesty and any other accounting ethics is known as integrity. Integrity can be defined as the quality of being honest and morally upright. So many people have started the accounting field with honesty, but later fell by the roadside because of low integrity. Thirdly, we have transparency. Transparency can be found as the quality of being open-minded and the person does not have any form of secrets. So many people have secrets hard it in their mind and they have a lot of things that, they are, that are yet to be exposed. A good accountant who wants to make it should, be, should have an open mind and should not take time in preparing of financial information and balance sheets. Lastly, I have professional behavior. A good accountant must be updated in this field. He or she must have proper and distinctive knowledge about what he or she is going to do and he or she wants in life. Now I'm going to give you the accounting equation, which, if, which is asset equals capital plus liability. Capital can be defined as the amount of money that is used to start a business. For example, Ojo started a business with 100,000 Naira. The 100,000 Naira that Ojo used to start the business is called capital. Secondly, we have assets. Assets can be defined as just property or money that are used that are used to create or generate income. For example, I have a land and I use that land for my business. That land is my asset because it's used to generate money. It can be either fixed or circulating assets. Third and last, I have liabilities. Liabilities can be found as those things that the company owes to outsiders, be it in money, property, or anything. It reduces the in economy of the company and, it may, and it brings the company down. Now, lastly, I have the importance of uh, I have the importance of accounting to the society. It reduces fraudulent activity in the society, and number two, it enables the society to be safe and the property to be safe. Now, I have importance of accounting to the profession, importance of accounting ethics to the profession. Number one, it helps in charging remuneration. Secondly, and lastly, it helps in bringing noble character to the profession. Thank you very much, and I hope you understood today's lecture. And I hope you understand the accounting ethics. And I want you to watch it for more upcoming videos, updating knowledge about accounting. Like, share, love, subscribe, and comment. Thank you very much. See you next time. Goodbye.